Hello everyone. So I just want to go through the heating curve of water. So you will see that I put temperature on this axis and time over here. I am starting out with a solid and you can see that the molecules are tightly packed and uh, they have weak bonds in between each other holding them together. As I heat up this ice cube, the temperature is going to rise. When it gets to zero degrees Celsius, it's going to start to melt. The opposite is freezing. You're going to see that the curve flattens because the temperature, the energy is now going to change solid to liquid. So it takes energy to make the molecules move faster, vibrate faster. And then when it finally gets to zero degrees Celsius, the energy is now being used to separate these bonds. So now you're gonna have a liquid. The energy is now going to heat up the liquid until it gets to 100 degrees Celsius. You're then gonna have evaporation, you can call it boiling, and the opposite is condensation. The energy here is going to heating up the liquid, but as the curve flattens, the energy is going to change it from liquid to a gas. So the energy is used to break these weak bonds in between the molecules so they can break completely free and evaporate. If we're going this way on the curve, you're going to see that the molecules get in less order. If you go this way towards solid, they're going to be in more order. And that's the information you could take from a heating curve of water.